In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to begin to customize the root screen in the menu that you build when you burn a disk and the supporting screens as well. I have a small project here with four short video clips. Let's assume I want to create a disk. I click on the Create Disk button in the top center and that takes me to a menu screen. We have other tutorials showing you how to control these items at the bottom right. They're very important if you want to control the beginning moments of your uh, video as you burn it to a disk. And so you might want to consult that. We also have another video that kind of gives you an overview of all the structure. But because this is a very complicated tool, we're going to take this piece by piece. In this particular piece, what we're going to do is we're going to look a little bit at the uh, preview screen and how to go ahead and edit some of these features. Normally, when you open a, uh, this editing screen to create the menu system for your video you will burn, it will go to what's called the root screen. Okay, this is the, the base. It's the one that is the core of your menu system. Now you can include it or not include it in your project. You don't have to use it at all. In fact, if I want to make this disappear, I click on the lower left corner, and we'll deal with these buttons later. This says Include Root Menu. When I uncheck that box, notice this does not say Root now. It says One of Two. And so now I have two pages with content. The first page has three chapters in my video, and I can move between them using these arrows. The second page has one chapter, and we'll also tell you how to change all of that in future lessons. But that gives you an example of how to do that. But when I have Include Root Menu checked, it normally will default to that. And there's another way to see which screen you're on, and that's to click on the menu structure. We'll have more information about that, but let me give you a quick preview. When I click here, I have my videos, my videos, and my videos. I don't find this helpful. I don't find it intuitive, and we'll show you how to change that. But right now, if I click anywhere at the top, it will get take, leave me in my root uh, screen. If I click on either this item or any of the three underneath it, now this says I'm on page one of two. We'll show you later how you can change the number of chapters on a particular page in your menu system. If I click here or here on the left side, it will show me that I'm on page two of two. So that's how you can navigate, and I find this helpful. When you're done, you click the X, and it will close that particular screen. But it's all under menu structure. Let's go back to the, uh, uh, the root menu, click on the house here. And this gets me to my basic startup screen if I want to use it. Again, what you can do with this, you can highlight any of the options. You can change the font uh, uh, type. You can change the font size. You can go bold or um, italic. You can align it to the left of your document, the center or you can do right align. You have other alignment options here if you want to use them. And uh, let's see if the bold will work now. No, I don't see it working. There's italic, okay. Must have been bold before. Um, you cannot change uh, the font color because that is part of the template. We'll show you a lesson later where you can uh, customize the template. You can make adjustments in the entire template um, but here you can change the, the type of fonts that is used in this particular situation. Uh, but it's not quite as full featured here as, say, if you were working with a title editor. So that's an example. You can also change the, the uh, name of the button that says Play. If I wanted to change it this way, I could go ahead and move the cursor and say Play Movie and it would still do the same thing. Or I could take the word scenes and I could call it something else. I could call it episodes. 
and I can move these items around uh, and go ahead and change the font size and the same items that I have up here. So these are some variations that you can make. Let's take the my video and uh, call it something else. That's not very interesting to me. Uh, we'll call it uh, Hot Movie. And now I've changed it on this screen. But if we go back to our menu structure, I'm going to click over here on the left. We'll see that now it calls it Hot Video. But the actual pages are still called My Videos. To edit these, you have to click on them individually. Now I clicked on it. I'm on page one of two. And if I want to change the name of this, I could call this uh, Hot Movie 1. And that will change this particular uh, page. If I click the arrow here, that will get me down to the second unit. And notice it changed here. I wish they had an option where you could edit all this stuff on the left panel. Uh, but this is for display only. It will not let you make changes. Uh, we can change the number of chapters per page, and they don't all have to be the same. We'll show you that in another lesson. But this is a little bit of the starter look at how you can go through your pages and change a little bit about the, the core title, and you can also change uh, what you call some of the buttons and move it around and uh, make it uh, different, help it to fit the kind of design that you would like to use. We'll continue our look at the, this menu design system as you create a menu for burning to a disk in the next lesson.